you? Yes. And you said, and you said that that was the reason why with Receipt Queen, I think Ashley was up in there as well. All I'm saying is it was it was a whole panel full of people. Ashley, right? well, no, no. Ashley, don't Ashley, don't start yelling. I'm just saying. I'm you Ashley too, because we the three that's involved in it. No, we you weren't. I don't think Ashley's involved in it because she wasn't done. there when, when we had a, a, the break of friendship. I'm trying to I don't want to yell. Let me say something. Let me say something. Y'all see me all this bullshit. Y'all tell me all this Diamond, um, uh, Ivy, could you, you, know, you, could you mute the person? With, could you mute the bitch with poor communicational skills, please? Could you mute, could you mute Ashley so she's not berating people? This is, she's not even in this. This has nothing to do with her. This has absolutely nothing to do with Ashley. Okay, when I get on these hoes, you got to fucking love this innocent ass shit. Can I get a mute? Can I get a mute? You're a fake ass hoe. You're a fake ass hoe. You can't talk with a whole set of us. I'm going to tell me if you want to talk to me about it. If you want to talk to me about it. Come on. Okay. Oh my God. Did you hear Ashley just said I never had a problem with Tammy until you kept telling me about her? Y'all have to understand there's different types of friendships. What China 504 used Ashley as is a weapon. She knows she tick, tick, boom. She saw her go after Diamond. She was right in the window. She saw her go after these people for the, she, and, and, and of course to get her, her, her place to Keith. There was another person who was on our show. Well, I don't mention her name anymore because it's enough of no consequence to me. Uh, who used to mention or you uh, China 504 on her panel on her page? I've never talked bad about you for you to run to Ashley to put me and Ashley in a situation where I'm calling her wide mouth pit bulls and I'm saying all kinds of disrespectful shit to her. But if Ashley had stayed out of it and let China handle her business, me and Ashley would have never gone that far. I'm not mad with you, China 504. But I see you and I see through you. I see you and I see through you. Yeah. And that's why me and Ashley and, 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 and I felt like Ashley was targeting me. And I know I've been I'm, I'm from the hood, bitch. I know when the motherfucker gunning for you. I felt it and I was like, Petty, I'm not sitting over there with Ashley every Wednesday night. I'm sorry, I'm not. So there was no, oh, I left and didn't say nothing. I very well did say I wasn't going to sit with her. And I felt that they were controlling his show. I said that. That's just how I felt. And when something happened, he was like, well, China 504 don't want us to discuss it. China can't tell me what the fuck to say. But that's the reason Ebb service dog, that's the reason they used her. Ashley's feelings are hurt because she, she don't even have receipts on China. So that tell you she thought the girl was her friend. I'm amused by people lying to me, but I, hi, Darian, how you doing, baby? But I'm disgusted by people lying on me. And I'm just explaining to, uh, uh, yeah, Ashley's feelings are hurt because not like that, not that Ashley don't deserve to have hurt feelings because you have hurt a lot of people, Ashley, and you're gonna, for every tear somebody cry, you gonna cry a few too. But I just know China 504, your motherfucking hands ain't clean either. And you knew Ashley was tick, tick, boom. You knew if you told her something, she was going to go and confront the person. And you was giggling, laughing, and it was all in fun and games when she was hurting that one girl. You was all down with the get down. But when you fucked up is when you put me in it.
If Ashley had shut up this morning and sat in her seat and, and behaved herself like a young lady, we would have never had this interaction. And she's under the impression today that I talked about JoJo. I didn't talk about JoJo. I call Brandon a pug looking motherfucker. But I happen to say that I think one of your children, I never said which one. She said which one. I never said JoJo looked like Brandon. I said one of your sons looks like Brandon. That's what I said. I said one of them. I said one of them. I didn't say both of them. She said, you talked about my JoJo. I wouldn't want to hurt Ashley's feelings, but I never said which child, Ashley. You, you gave that. I never said which one. I just, I know I didn't, I, I, I just said one of your, one of your sons looks like him. But the reason I didn't have any restraint and if Ashley didn't kick me, I was willing to go straight to hell with you, Ashley. I was willing to say anything about you, your mother, your family, because it's what you've shown me how you operate. I only match your, your, the type of energy that you display. I would never say anything about people's children to that degree. But I do think your son looked like Brandon. I'm not going to lie. I do. I looked. You posted a picture of him. All that nigga needed was a beard and a hookah pipe. I just think he looked like Brandon. I'm an older woman. I see shit like that. Younger women, y'all may not see it because y'all don't know shit. That's just how I felt. But I feel like if you attack people, you have to understand that that. Everything is fair in love and war. When you come at somebody the way you came at me, I'm talking to Ivy and you just, oh, you ain't innocent. And you really, really tried to bully me. And I've seen you bully people before. I've seen the despair you cause people. And I wasn't going to allow you to do that to me. So that's the reason I thank you for kicking me, Ashley. If you're looking at this, I really want to tell you thank you for kicking me. Because if you didn't kick me, I was going to go so low, you probably would have been willing to take a flight and fight me. I didn't want to say that to you. I thought that since you posted your Christmas picture, but I didn't say anything to anyone. You said somebody told me you said that. That's a motherfucking lie. I never repeated that to anybody. That's why when it came out, the whole room was like, because <laughs> I never said it to anybody. I'm sure I'm not the oldest. A lot of us old bitches on here that saw that. But a lot of them are scared of you, so they won't say it. I didn't want to get into that with you. Just like I didn't want to get into it with, with King Petty. When I said go check on your friend Petty, the reason I said that was using Petty as a point of reference, trying to get you to see you going hard for this bitch and this bitch is over here playing you. Go check on Petty. That's why I said that to you. Because when Petty got into it with Pastor, y'all dropped that motherfucker like he was on fire. I got sisters and brothers. I got friends that are my sister friends that I wouldn't give a fuck which one of y'all stop speaking to them. I'm still going to speak to my friend. And then they said, oh, well, Petty was upset you said his name. Petty should have said thank you for saying my name because after that, you got a phone call. People probably checked on you because nobody wasn't checking on you or checking for you. I thought it was fucked up the way you was treated. So it was it's not like I feel like um I did him wrong by saying his name. But young people, you know, y'all too stupid to understand when something's working for you and working against you. Y'all have not figured that out yet. So when I was or, hey, mom, thank you. Um, um, so when I was asked to speak publicly, I didn't think it was worth my time. Somebody said you said that about my child. That was one of your lies, Ashley. I had never said that to anyone. Not even Sabrina. Not even Sabrina. So when Sabrina saw it on YouTube, she came in the room. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I said, babe, it was fucking Ashley. 
What was I supposed to do? Go in there and say, now, now, Ashley. Now, listen here, Ashley Shepard. Listen, we're going to be respectful. Ashley would have smooth cussed me out in that motherfucker and called me all kind of black monkey motherfuckers. I wasn't going to let Ashley do that to me. That's why we got into it. Because you was fighting for a friend that was never a friend. And I kept saying, this has nothing to do with you, Ashley. This has nothing to do with you. You was just on 10 and on your bully shit. Mm -mm. I told Diamond to stand down because Diamond is sick. She had she has health issues. I'm an old bitch, but I'm pretty all right. I'm hanging in there. No, I was gonna cuss your ass out. And I really came there to get China. But she was, I gotta go back into school and da 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 da. Yeah, everything counts, Jay Stupid. I don't care what gift it is. Thank you. I accept all gifts. Loyalty tickets, I don't give a shit what it is. I'm grateful for you tapping the screen, sharing the live. Even the people who come in here, you don't have to have beans to give me. If you come tap my motherfucking screen, share my goddamn live, you doing me a solid. I'm not one of those people. Get me the 10 boxes or throw them bitches out. What the fuck are you giving a concert in here? You can't even fucking read and you want to be giving people problems. I just want China 504 to know I don't agree with everything that Ashley does. None of us do. But we see that she's not the only problem here. Hey, Monet, took a little time to take care of some important business. But I'm back. I was just something last minute that was really uh, pressing with time. And um, I got it done. So I'm back. I just know, like I said, with these people, some of you are unbelievable. And y'all wanted to see me and China Red get into it. Some of y'all couldn't wait for that day. I looked in the comments, y'all was saying shit like, it's happening, finally. Like y'all wanted to see me and that girl go at it like that. I didn't feel good doing it. But I know that she was had been fueled with lies. She had been misinformed and uninformed. So she was operating on ignorance and lies from China 504, feeling that we was bullying her sick friend who cry and tell her she getting double shots of chemo or whatever she was over, over there lying. And y'all called China 50 China read a liar yesterday. I was in King Petty's room when she said she was waiting for the doctor to discharge her. I was in that room. And that camera opened up and I saw that black velvet bed and them red and black motherfucking curtains. And I said, oh, shit. You was there, Fifi? China Red didn't lie about that, but y'all called her a liar anyway. I don't know if she doesn't have it, but I know that she, she wasn't in the hospital that day she said she was. And then she said, um, I was in the room, so it did happen. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. That's what I mean about people. Even liars can tell the truth sometimes. And China Red was telling the truth. It did happen. She was in one box. China was in another. And Petty was on the main screen. And my old ass was sitting in the comments. And I was eating and watching. And when I saw it, I said. <laughs> I thought she said she was at the doctor. Then I thought maybe she just didn't want y'all in her business. Maybe she didn't want y'all in her business is what I was thinking. But then I started thinking about it and was like, well, why couldn't she just say none of y'all fucking business where the fuck I'm at? All I know is I don't got no problem with you, China 504. But I do know one thing. I know that you's a lying motherfucker. I give you that. I'm going to give you, people like to call Ashley a liar, but China 504, we need to call you the same thing because you lied on me. 
You lied to make Ashley get at me. Hey, Black Velvet. I was watching a little bit of the case today. They didn't get that nigga no bail, did they? You could put a no in the comments. I don't think DeKalb County giving Nature Boy a bail. That judge was going through them charges one at a time like a thorough bitch. He doing time. No bail, I figured. He ain't, they ain't gonna play with him over there. I'm just so disappointed in China 504. They shouldn't. Well, that'll be a mistake going to trial. He better cop out to whatever the fuck they offer him. I'm going to tell you something about trial. They'll be offering you two to four to cop. And niggas go to trial, blow trial and get 30 fucking years. You better think about trial. Trial ain't that. That's not just a word. <laughs> that shit is serious. Sometimes you better off just copping out. And yeah, I got my glasses on a string like an old bitch. My friends, everybody had these. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm always looking for my glasses. Now I know where they at. Yeah, you better think about that. Oh, TT, I love you too. Your nephew did that and got 50 years. I've seen people get more. I seen them offering somebody um, five to 15. And I told the young man, I said, well, you, you'll be home in less than five years. I can't do no five years. I can't do no five years. I said, you can't do five years with all this shit they caught you with? I said, my nigga, you gonna get an ass full of time being stupid. He left out that motherfucker. They, his feet was dragging and they was holding him up. <laughs> he had done passed out. <laughs> when he looked, he came through on suicide watch. And he was like, Miss Tammy. I said, what? He was like, you heard how they did me? I said, yeah, I heard. I heard you got 62 motherfucking years when you could have copped the five. You was guilty, nigga. You going, I said, you going to trial. Like, I said, is you innocent? You better snatch it up. They're working on reform to stop the copping thing because it's making innocent people cop the crimes they didn't commit. Mm-hmm. He going to do some time. And especially with this whole God thing of people thinking he's God. That lady looked God fear and that bitch was offended up there. I said, uh-oh, she looked like she may be a little evangelical and shit. She going to get him. <laughs> Wow. You got to get a lawyer before you answer. That's all. Most people who answer the, for warrants with a lawyer rarely go to jail. It's when you come in there by yourself or they have to catch you. Once they catch you, you fucked up. You'd be better off having a lawyer come in to speak for you. Yeah, she did. Nature Boy deserves to be in jail. And so are the people who who have um, anybody whose name is implicated in that shit needs to be in jail. I just want to give a shout out to all the women and all the people who kept his crimes public, like Black Velvet, who's in the room right now. She is a Nature Boy enthusiast. She knows everything about Nature Boy. And um, I think that her platform is where I will go to get information that, that's factual based because she knows the ins and outs of all the women, who's gone, who's come, who died, who didn't. Yeah. Who didn't do whatever. Well, as I said, if you want to be a host, hit me at tamstars123 at gmail.com. Or hit me on the inbox and leave a phone number. But please know when I call you, I might call in to rap and talk about irrelevant shit. Because some of y'all think it's a personal call. And want to start going through a lot of changes. And I just don't have it. And if you in my inbox to ask me for money, all I can offer you is a host audition. Because if you become a host, you'll be making money and you won't have to be on here begging for shit. Some of y'all find it easier to beg than to work. And that's problematic for me. It's as problematic for me as it is with China 504 lying on me. 
So I know y'all done ran and told China, Tammy said so-and-so about you. I sure did. You's a lying motherfucker. And you lie with intention and you lie to make things happen. So when they were saying she was involved in certain things, it didn't seem far from your character to me. I know you lied on me to get this girl to do shit. I know you, 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 you did a lot. You did a lot, young lady. And I just think that somebody who has the battle ahead of them that you have, that you would be more focused on your healing and getting yourself together and getting your surgeries and taking care of your business and, and getting your ducks in a row. If I had breast cancer, I wouldn't give a fuck about none of y'all and all of this bullshit. I'd be somewhere eating motherfucking berries and nuts and shit like that, drinking alkaline water, praying to God and rubbing my titties with sage and herbs. I would be somewhere on a different kick. I wouldn't be somewhere gossiping and not minding my business and lying on people. I think your focus is in the wrong place. You announced on that interview that you was leaving the app, but you hear every day lying and causing problems for people. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. I know you use China 504, I mean China Red to get at me. I never heard of that either. They have different dosages of chemo depending on what kind of cancer you have, where it's located and things of that nature. I, I've heard of that, but... um. Every treatment will be different, you know, per patient. Um, I know people who have ports, people who don't have ports. Some people get their chemo through like a heavy catheter needle or some chemo is pills. Um, so we, we can't say that. But I can say one thing. That phone opened and your ass was in your house in that red bed with them um, them jungle curtains, them red and black zebra or, or leopard, whatever them shits are, them curtains up there. I did see that. Now, I saw that. I saw that myself. I read the coldest winter ever and that uh, segment of the story where she was saving the, the, the it, some of it came from a book. And I know I have the book right there in my library. Um, I didn't say anything because I figured some people didn't read the book. So I was like, OK, well, maybe it did happen to her. It's a possibility. I just know that you lied on me, China 504. And if you never apologize, you don't have to, but you lied on me. And you lied on me and you lied and tried to make that girl attack me. Yes, my sister soldier. She has another one too. <laughs> Your Aunt Joyce. <laughs> and that's where I'm from. Yeah. And I'm wondering why every time I see China five China Red, she just quiet and watching me. And I'm like, when they actually start acting fucking weird like this, Ashley started acting so weird. I didn't even want to sit with you, bitch. You think she has Munchausen syndrome? I don't give a fuck what she have. Keep my name out of it. Munchausen all around me, but don't put me in your shit. I know it's a lot of attention seeking. It's a lot of attention seeking. Because why would you lie and get Ashley to come after me? Well, certain things about her story didn't make sense to me. Like when she said that the man would beat the child in, in, with, with the pit bulls. You can't beat children in front of large dogs. I grew up with large dogs. Those dogs will turn on your ass and defend that child. You can't beat babies in front of pit bulls. So that was a lie. I don't know anything about AIDS medicines, but I know they do give you certain drugs as a prophylactic or a, a, a preventative measure in case you get raped and have and, and the person is determined to have something or something like that. They might give you that. But when they were saying that the dogs, um, they would beat the son and beat the kids. And I said myself in front of pit bulls. Pit bulls don't care how well you have them trained. If you hit a child in front of them, they're going to buck up on your ass. We had boxes and pits. My father, he couldn't hit us. 
You gonna hit the kid in front of a dog? You can't do that in front of a, a any even little dogs will get crunk on your ass. You go smacking or hitting on a baby. So that part of the story I found to be a little questionable. Yeah, the, the, even if they don't like the kid, they're not gonna let you beat the kids. Rottweilers won't let you hit kids at the fuck all. Yeah, you you. It's just not that 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 part of the story didn't make sense to me, and there's certain other things that didn't make sense to me. Some of it sounded like Diamond P's life. Some of it sounded like other people's lives. I don't know. I don't care. I just know lie to me, bitch, but don't lie on me. Yeah, the dogs will defend a child. Even if the dog don't like children, they're not gonna let you beat a child in front of them. I don't care how many lies she tell y'all. She can she can have the coldest winter ever and she could do whatever she want to do with her fucking life. That's her life. But don't lie on me and don't be going around telling people I'm bullying you and I ain't even talking to you or about you. I stopped coming to your panel. I'm not obligated to come the fuck over there. You don't come over here. Probably. I don't know if it was her goal to get close to him. I just know as Ashley being the top broadcaster, I didn't see why Pastor wasn't in the middle of the flyer and you two ladies on each end. It's a great book. Hate it or love it, Ashley was used to come after me. That's why y'all heard me and Ashley cussing like two ghetto bitches that day. Hey, grown, I'm woman. You think so? I think he's sick of them. Pastor's just at a point right now where he's taking a high road. Like, he's taking a, a different road. Um, as far as the bullshit, he wants to get together this weekend and have a good time and da, 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 da. And I could see him just having a good time and everybody having fun. And like I said, I would have probably slid through because I'm a, I'm a flight. I'm a bitch that a hop a flight, but, um, he's tired of everybody beefing. Yeah, when I knew I was going to have to curse Ashley out, I had somebody to call him and I just talked to him and said, I know that's your girl. And you, he knows I don't have anything against Ashley. But I explained to him that if it goes left, it's going to go all the way left to the point where it's going to go so left, we're going to go in a whole fucking circle because I'm not going to play with her. Because I know how you, you China red. I already know. I got to shoot for, I got to, I got to slice this bitch throat verbally. I got to say some shit that's going to have her gagging. I got to fuck with her. If I had gotten there, um, Ashley were better than that, she would have annihilated me. She'd have called me all kind of soot monkeys, you black bitch, you this, you that. I'm not going to be none of that. That's why I went there and I, started, I, I, just, I, I just said what I said to her. But was that her beef? Nope. I didn't do anything to China 504. I don't even know China 504. Shay, I would have never said those things to Ashley, but Ashley had, that's just like having a fight with somebody who has a reputation of beating the shit out of bitches. You going to go out there playing with her? Nah, you going to come to the table like, you know, brass knuckles check, mace check. You're going to be ready for action because you know what you're facing. So I knew with Ashley what I was facing. I hear how you talk to people around here and the things that you say. So when it was when, when it was a time and you were gunning for me, Ashley, Vaseline check, <laughs> earrings off check. You know, I, you were gunning for me, Ashley. You kept saying, I want the clout and I want to be a top broadcaster. No, actually, I want to be a mega agent. And then I would just host um, private panels and talk to the people that really fuck with me. That's what I would do. I want to be a top agent on here and only fuck with the people in a, in a personal live that really fuck with me.
You want the clout? I'm going to give you the clout. I don't know where they're getting this from. I don't think there's anybody on Bego who's really cloudy except maybe Pastor, Robert, Charlie, and maybe somebody else I'm forgetting. I don't think a lot of these people are Bego. I call it Bego clout. It's Bego clout. Because if I take you into an industry event, no one would know you. It's bigo clout. But you kept saying, you want the clout, I'm going to give you the clout. You want to read? Ashley, you wanted that from me. I didn't want to do that with you. You brought that on yourself. You know I'm a decent woman, Ashley. Deep down inside, you know I'm a decent woman. And you didn't think I was going to call you stupid bitches and say those things to you. You didn't think so. But you overestimated me. You gave me more credit than what I deserve. I'm from Bedford-Stuyvesant, Brooklyn. Grew up in South Jamaica. I ain't forgot nothing the devil taught me. I know how to get low and do all of that, but that's not who I am. Innately, I'm a peaceful person. And I will walk away from shit before I engage. But your name has been in my book almost a year, Ashley, because I saw you gunning for me. Not a year, about eight months you've been in my book. And I just kept saying, I'm ignoring She ain't, is this what she doing? Well, Miss Tammy, sounds, and me and you was cool. And then all of a sudden, really, Quincy straight. Then all of a sudden, you, you just turned on me and started acting different. That's all I know is do or die. I just know I'm I'm just not, I don't want to have a problem with people, but I'm not running from y'all either. I don't want a problem. I don't want to argue, but I'm not running from y'all either because I'm not scared of you. No, little Zeus. Child, you be getting kicked out of everywhere. You worse than me. Mm -mm. I'm trying to see if Sabrina, I could take her to dinner and, 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 and spend a little time with her. I don't really have no, I don't have no hate for y'all, but I don't have the kind of godly love that I should have for y'all because of how y'all act. How y'all act. Are you from Brevoid? I had a friend over in Brevoid. Her name was Lisa. She died. She died. Yeah. Yeah. I just know I'm, I've been a decent person on here. I've tried to be, but if you see me curse somebody out, just know I didn't start it. I do love you. Just know I didn't start it. And if Ashley had just stayed out of this conversation, that would have been between me and the person I came over there to talk to. She kept saying, you ain't innocent. You ain't innocent. And some of the stuff that they're accusing me of is crazy. The only person I thought was mad that people were sitting with pastor is y'all. I never said that about the church women. I thought it was you in China that was mad. Keith's approval is like God, like y'all hold on to every word like he's God or something. And that's just not healthy. Because he's a human. He'll fuck up and he'll disappoint you like any other human. Really? Soon as something happened, um, and I'm thinking Keith will be able to diffuse it between me and Ashley because I really didn't want to say bad things to her. I really didn't. That nigga was like, well, I'm minding my business. Y'all do what y'all do. I said, well, thanks, Keith. <laughs> Pastor took the fucking back seat and said, you bitches slug it out. I'm sitting on the outside. And that's what happened. And that's what y'all saw. 
But was that for Ashley? Nope. And then she said, I ran to Nicole. I didn't run to Nicole. I sit in Nicole's room when Nicole is Nicole. But when Nicole is like under the control, I don't go in there. Um, but yesterday, Nicole was clapping back and yelling and whatever they had going on. I never ran to Nicole for nothing. I just couldn't believe they said that I, I hurt people and I sell drugs and all the things that were said about me. Bitch, the kind of drugs I want to sell, if I was selling drugs, I wouldn't be on Bego. Keith don't care what nobody say about him. Somewhere, something in Keith's life have Keith very peaceful, very at one with himself, and very much like he's almost a fucking Dalai Lama sitting over that bitch. He smoke his shit. If Turk didn't fuck up, Keith wouldn't even be cussing at Turk right now. Keith just was looking for peace. And even when Turk was being disrespectful, Keith was still trying to be respectful. Keith's respect was on 100. Turk was on 3.5. And that shit just wasn't going to work. And then they had it out. But I don't think Keith would have even been arguing then. He just don't want to. I don't know how to respond to that. I don't know how to respond to it either. Yeah, it did a lot, but you know, some niggas just be extra like that. And then y'all worried about his wife. That bitch living better than most of y'all. She know her nigga. It's like, you know, when your nigga say some shit fucked up, what you think? Her nigga so much different from your nigga? Your nigga just not doing it on Bego. The fuck? Financially, her and her kids are good. She got half the battle. She just got to hear his mouth for a few minutes and she just do her thing. She has a lot invested in her relationship and they doing them and they living in the house with more money than some of y'all see in five or ten years. I wouldn't worry about their fucking problems because their problems don't seem like problems to me. I just know, like I said, China 504, you're a disappointment. You took the one time Ashley tried to be decent and be a friend and not have receipts and do all of that shit. And you gave her, you fucked her up to the point where Ashley might not ever engage in friendship again. This is just like a boy who get his heart broke young or a person get their heart broke. Then they ain't good for nobody else. Because right now, I'm like, everybody's fucked up. What up, TC? You used Ashley China 504 and you used her like a weapon to come at me, Diamond, and so many other people. If Ashley really wanted to tell the truth, she probably would gag y'all on how much uh, shit that she was running around doing. I never, ever, ever, ever bullied China 504. Did I laugh at that can't be faithful video? Yeah, you in there looking uncomfortable and stiff, rubbing on that greasy black jerry curl nigga. Yes, I laughed. Everybody in the room was laughing. Why is it a problem if I laugh? But I didn't bully you. I just asked, where did y'all get this? But me calling you hoes and sluts and all of that shit? I never did that to you, you liar. And you heard Ashley say, I never had a problem with Miss Tammy until you started telling me shit about her. Period, um, queen. But like I said, if Ashley had stayed out of it, we would have never went that far. Oh, yeah, she's she she used her. Well, Ashley is a complex character. Ashley, she has a very good side to her. And then there's the other side that will do anything and say anything and carry on. But for the most part, Ashley's probably pretty popular with the kids around her block and kids probably like her. I don't dislike the bitch. I just know bitch don't think you're going to say anything to me because I'm going to tell you your kids look like Brandon Keys. I'm going to be disrespectful. 
I would have never said that to her had she wasn't fucking with me. Had I been thinking it? Yes. I've been thinking it. And when she posted that other picture, all I said was, God damn, the eyes set just like him and everything. He do look like him. I would never apologize for that. Should I have said it in a public place? No. But you just, she just pissed me the fuck off because you going so hard for China 504. You doing all this. You, you causing havoc and all this shit for this bitch. And this bitch is sitting here leaving you out here. You too stupid to see it. But you ain't argued one bit for Petty. Petty was your brother. That's how I was feeling about it. Thank you, David. I just wanted to come on and explain my part because I was going to do a night panel tonight. Yes, yeah, she called him because she needs to prove a point. Now they're comrades. See, there's a difference between friendship and comrades. Comrades are the people you see on here. We get together only because we have a common enemy. And once we dissolve or take care of that enemy, then we go back to not being friends again. Or they keep you a little close just in case I need you if something pop off. Petty knows a lot of things because he was in those group chats. I can only imagine what was being said to me in there. Sometime I come to table talk, I'm on the flyer. Sometime I come, I'm not. Sometime I come, I'm on the flyer. And then when the nights I'm not, Ashley's sitting there quiet in the box, not talking to me or Jag, but she's on the panel on the show that she ain't on. What you trying to set me up to be in here cussing at this girl, saying all kind of hurtful shit to her? I walked away from it. Because I explained to Petty, I said, so why, what, are, are you losing, because I told myself, it's like you lost control of your platform. China in the window dictating what people talk about, and if you talk about it, he's sitting there, mm-mm, mm-hmm, scared to talk. And I was like, when it's my tea you up here talking... Yeah, well, they're not friends. Red 39 and China and, and that Steph girl... Um, they're not friends. They're comrades. Right now, they have China 504 in common. That's the common enemy that they want to take down. Um, and once they've annihilated China and they've, you know, neutralized China where she's no longer a threat, they'll go back to tearing each other apart. Okay, David. Hey, Barbie. Yeah, they was playing, but they. But what it is is Ashley had a motive as well. So it was a great panel. They both had a motive. I just didn't know why my name came up. And then my main China brought my name up yesterday. And when she brought my name up on Keith's panel, if I were not in a meeting taking care of business, I would have got her ass over there yesterday. Keep my name the fuck out of it because you lie on me. You told somebody, I'm bully you. They picking on me. You heard what Ashley said. And then when I get at these hoes, you run and play innocent. I believe Ashley. Just like you got up there for sympathy rather than face your music, you started screaming and crying about a, 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 a baby, a stillborn baby or whatever. And a woman who's had an abortion can't tell me shit about no stillborn baby hollering and crying. Some things to me don't even make sense, but y'all are at an age where y'all don't think. Y'all just listen to what people say and believe it. They were saying something about an abortion, and I'm like, well, if you aborting more than one baby, why would this? None of this shit don't make sense. I don't give a fuck. Just keep me out of it. Don't bring me up in it. Don't talk about me in it. Y'all just leave me out of it and, and we'll be fine. But China 504, you are the author of confusion and you used Ashley because you knew that she was, uh, she would, you knew you were more savvy than her. Ashley's a manipulator, but China is, is, is she's calculative. She's a calculating bitch. That's who China, uh, China 504 is. 
And you talk about anybody with Ashley. When Ashley come and get at people, you could bet China 504 was in her ear telling her, well, you need to talk to this person because this, this, that. Next thing I know, she coming after me to cuss me out and I ain't done nothing to nobody. In order to give a fuck about a person, to care about a person, you at least got to give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about China 504. Because you're calculating and you use China Red. You know she a loud mouth motherfucker that'll run up and yeah, and you don't have that in you. So you befriended her to get that from her. And you use her to come at anybody. And after you just use her to come at people. So when y'all have to people come at you sometime and the shit don't make no sense, it's coming from somewhere. I confided in her as a friend. That's why I said it's obvious you're doing that. But when you confide in your friend, confide in her and tell her the truth. Sow seeds into her a positivity and tell her she can make it. Help her when she's going to school now. Why is the only thing you sowing in her, into her negativity about people and lies? You lied on me, China. 504. You lied on me. You know me and you didn't have no problem. That's all she needed was the bark. What up, red girl? China could call the cops on whoever the fuck she want to call, but she better be careful calling the cops and they got her name up in that business. What happened with Keith? She better be careful. But China 504, you's a lying motherfucker and you lied on me. Me and you ain't never had no problem. You got in there with that, that girl and you took, that's my woody and my woo and this and that. And I stepped the fuck off and left all you corny ass bitches alone and went my way. Cause I don't need friends. When you get to be my age, friends is a luxury. I don't need no motherfucking new friends. I got old friends. I got friends that I, I was with for a week that knew me before I had titties. I don't need no new bitches in my life. I got old bitches. It's reliable. But China 504, Ashley's a master manipulator, but you are a calculating, calculative bitch. You knew just how to use Ashley to come after Diamond, to come after me, to come after Red, and a host of other motherfuckers you used her for. Because you didn't have the balls to do it. Me and Ashley should have never been on that platform arguing like that. I got to get back to the kids' school. No, you didn't. You didn't want to stand there and face the storm that you created. Because you know I see you. And when Ashley just wouldn't shut up, I figured, let me just cuss Ashley ass out since she want to be in it so bad. Should I have cursed Ashley out? Nope. That smoke was for you. And the only reason I didn't give it to you is because you, you, you got cancer and you sick and I don't ever want to be guilty of bullying a sick bitch. So that's the reason I didn't give it to you. But if I was you, China 504, I'd keep my name, uh, my name out your mouth because I have nothing to do with this. I don't set up people. I don't call people to do stuff. I don't do none of that. I live differently from you. The same way you went and got Ashley to call shot on me and to, to come after me and to come after this one and that one, I believe you'll do that in the grand scheme of life. That's what I believe about you. This is just a small portion of what we're seeing. The way she weaponized Ashley, why wouldn't you do something more? I don't know if she's sick either, but I would rather treat her as she has cancer than for me to act like she don't and then the bitch died and I be feeling bad. China 504, you are a calculating troublemaker. 
and you a bitch that throw a rock, you don't even throw a rock. You get somebody to throw a rock and then you duck and then if you get confronted, you cry and then yesterday <laughs> with all this fake ass crying and keep them telling you go get yourself together. You know your tears move, Keith. Keith is a man. See, men are moved by bitches' tears. See, I'm an old bitch. Bitch, you're gonna have to cry blood for me to believe it. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not moved by tears. Cause where was your tears when you was lying on me? When you was telling people I'm bullying you. What I look like bullying a sick bitch that's getting ready to get her titties cut off. I'm different from you. See, you did that to Diamond. That's what you did to Diamond. You don't give a fuck about Diamond's cancer, but I'm going to be woman enough that I'm going to give a fuck about yours. You knew Diamond just lost her motherfucking son. You knew this girl just lost her breast, and you sent Ashley after her. And Ashley, I fault you. I fault you for not using your own discernment and your own discretion as a woman to say, China, the girl is sick. Why would I do that to her? You brought your ass over there to start trouble and you did it because you were told to do so by your friend who lied and said they picking on me. I ain't never picked on China 504. So why are you fucking with me? Me and Ashley should have never had a problem. But you kept gunning for me and saying things about me and going live and saying, and I've never done that to you. Oh, Tammy want the clout. She want to be a big broadcaster. No, I don't really want to be a big broadcaster. I'm already really popular. You guys just don't know me, but it's a lot of motherfuckers that do. I don't need to be a big broadcaster. I want to be a mega agent. So if you want to be a host, hit me at tamstars123 at gmail.com. See, and I'm not one of them bitches that will see you in public and be scared of you. I don't care how tall you are. I don't care how big you are. I used to play basketball. I'm used to smacking the shit out of big bitches. I don't have a problem with smacking the shit out of big bitch. I don't want to. I don't want to live that way. I don't even want to curse at y'all. But China Red, you wouldn't back down. You wouldn't stand down. And it wasn't your business and it wasn't your fight. This was something between Diamond and China. It had nothing to do with you and it had nothing to do with me. You didn't respect Diamond's health. That's why I told her to protect herself because I didn't trust that you were going to do what was right because you was fueled with lies. For you to mosey your ass up in the room and start shit on a peaceful panel with people minding their business. I knew you was fueled with lies. And I told Diamond that night, I said, I tell you what the fuck I said. I said, Diamond, this is coming from China. China is confiding in China Red and China Red is believing her and she feel like y'all picking on her. So she defending her friend. Now your friend's sitting on that morning show where you ain't even sitting no more. Still trying to get her beans and her quota, even though she left the app after the interview. I thought there was a big goddamn... I'm sick of you bitches announcing y'all leaving and you hoes don't go nowhere. I'm so sick of it. We need to have to a uh, fucking, uh, 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 some sort of a penalty for that shit. If you say you leaving, we want to see you gone. Mm -mm. Ashley's manipulative. China's calculating. I, if Ivy don't understand, because I heard her say, if someone talk about China 504, I'm a so so and so with them. Ivy, you better mind your business for they go through them texts and Ashley crack your face and let you see what your friend is saying about you. That's my friend name is Vetlana. I believe y'all was in that discord talking bad about everybody. Sometime I see a certain young man. Hey, TT. Next time I see him. Hey, Tammy. And I say, oh, they must have been talking about me today. He get in front of y'all and pretend he don't like me because he can't be my friend in front of y'all. There was pressure. Pressure bust pipes. I don't live under pressure. But that's what the young man was going through. 
But to China 504, you're a liar. You're a scheving, calculating, motherfucking liar. I've never bullied you. Did I laugh at that video with you in there rubbing on that old, greasy, fat back eating black motherfucker? Yes, I laughed. The whole room was laughing. I'm not going to sit here. You hoping that Ashley's bad reputation is going to precede her and people are going to believe that Ashley is the demon here. But Ashley is not the only demon. You too have horns, bitch. Then you get in there and we was on Ashley Panda and we talked about this and that and this and that. No, 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 no. I explained to you because I'm a person that's an open book and I'm pretty direct in what the fuck I say. I told you I stopped fucking with you that day. That bum bitch came over there talking all that cash key keys to the street bullshit. And this is when you was deep in Ebb's black ass crack and you was up under the, under, up under Brandon a little say taste, I guess. And you, you, well, that's my woe. I've known her for years and da, 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 da. So this is your woe. You knew her for years. I'm not fucking with her and I'm not fucking with you either. I took my beans in my wallet and I went in the other direction as I should. Now, all of a sudden, since I talk, since you see me talk to Diamond, because we've been talking since you see me talk to her. She's always visited my room and get, since you see me talk to her, now she ain't talking to me because of Diamond. That's the lie you told. And you know that shit that happened was your fault. Thank you. So if you lie about that, I'm just convinced that you've been lying about it. Oh, red energy was bad. It was something about her energy. Who the fuck are you, an energyologist now? That you 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 calculating, calibrating folks' energy? Some of that shit be corny. I would say you're the common denominator with the bullshit. Because everybody that Ashley has cursed out within the last eight months or seven or eight months has been because of you. You tell her people are picking on you and then she act like the big sister to run over there and level the playing field. I would have never told Ashley Brandon was her baby daddy loud on that platform with 4,000 people in that room. Ashley went through that embarrassment because you put her in a position to be embarrassed. That hurt her feelings. Somebody, I called her a dog, an animal. I said a lot of fucked up shit to her in that room. Am I apologizing for any of it? No. And I usually will apologize to anybody when I'm wrong, but I will not apologize for it because I told you several times, Ashley, that it had nothing to do with you. I gave you several doors to exit the situation because I wanted to talk to China because that's who I came to talk to. And China got in there and I'll fight for Ashley, da, 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 da. all that old ignorant back road bullshit. I don't want to hear none of that shit, bitch. Why are you lying on me? I don't bully people. I don't like bullies. I'm going to go on and do my thing. And like I said, China 504, I don't dislike you, but I don't want to fuck with you. So don't wonder why I don't come to your room. Just know I'm not fucking with you. Hey, Mel. You lied on me for no reason. And I could understand why you lied on me. I just know Ashley energy changed. And it's like she was putting herself in positions to be into it with me because of she had been fueled by your lies. Everybody got a cousin in here that you ain't going to tell what happened if somebody fuck with you. You're going to be like, uh-uh, that nigga going to have the cops out here. We going to jail. You already, everybody got a cousin that you know you can't tell shit to. You knew Ashley was that cousin, but you fed her those lies anyway. You even gave her disparaging, nasty things to say about Diamond P's deceased son. The family hadn't even read that article yet or, or was being bothered with that article because it's painful to lose a child. 
you see y'all somewhere tried to justify a young man being killed senselessly and then talk about it as if it's mere gossip i heard ashley say somebody mama died at 19. messy steph don't fuck with me or whatever but i still don't want to hear about her dead mama i don't think that's nice but Ashley, that's the reason I said the things that I said to you that day. You have created a, a, a reputation, a solid reputation of being ruthless. Your content is cruelty. Now, being that I know that I'm dealing with a ruthless person whose content is cruelty, that's why I said what I said about your son. I never specified if it was Bud Bud or JoJo. So when you said I talked about JoJo, you lied on me. I never said either child's name. I just said that Brandon looked like a pug, and I said one of your sons looks like Brandon Keys is what I said. Was it right for me to say it? No. Did you deserve it? Every drop of it, because you should have mind your business. You should have told China, you a grown ass woman. And if you got a problem with Miss Tammy, you need to go over there and talk to Miss Tammy about whatever you feeling. But I don't feel right bullying Diamond and she just got her breast removed and it hasn't even dealt with the case of her son being killed. And I'm in no way defending Diamond because Diamond was coming for y'all asses and I had to talk to her. I spent so many hours on the phone with that girl trying to call her to check to make sure you still home. Everything OK? Well, I'm trying. Let's pray. And I'm trying to pray with her and talk to her to keep her from coming over there. And, and, and you in her hood. What you thought that was hard? Out of respect for Ivy and Keith. K, uh, um, K.O.B. and Penny people who didn't deserve all of that. You girls have put a lot of pain on the table for people unnecessarily. It's time out for your content being cruelty. And then you want to tell people how to fight. And as I said, Ashley Shepard, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for kicking me that day. I'm grateful to you for that. Because I was willing to go straight to hell with you. I was going to say things to you that were unpardonable that you could have never forgiven me for. Just because the reputation that you've created for yourself. And the fact that you didn't mind your fucking business. That was China's beef. It wasn't your beef. You've been used. And I hope Ashley can see that you've been used. And hopefully Ivy is smart enough to see if her and Ashley is that close and Ashley been used, what the fuck you think she's sitting around you for? Sitting on your panel with a morning show flyer. China 504, the attention seeking has to stop before you get somebody killed. You seeking validation from people that will all walk in a police department and tell on you. I wouldn't be calling police on nobody, regardless of what they did, what you've been accused of. You even put my name in that. I don't know nothing about none of that shit. All I know is life is short. And if you let people, they'll complicate your journey and complicate. I'm not going to let you complicate my journey and I'm not going to let you complicate my life. And I'm not scared of any of you, not on the Internet, not verbally, not legally, not physically. I'm not scared. But I choose peace because I know it's healthy for me. That's why I choose peace. Because I know it's healthy for me. And it's healthy for you too. Now people are saying that you're not sick. I don't want to think that you would be that 
twisted to do something like that. It'd have to be a twisted, sick individual to even make up some shit like that. So I'm not thinking that, but what I am thinking is when my name comes out of your mouth, if it's not something encouraging, if it's not something positive or edifying to somebody's growth and development, keep my name out your fucking mouth. You got enough motherfucking issues. Probably. You got enough issues that you need to face. Hopefully, Ashley has learned her lesson that she was used. And I saw her being used. That's the reason I was like, yo, she using the shit out of Ashley. And Ashley was going hard in the paint. It's like, you going hard for this bitch. This bitch ain't going to go hard for you. She's sitting right with Ivy. She shouldn't be on that morning show. You talk Ivy into bringing her back, I believe. Because she was over there trying to do her own thing in the morning. I feel bad for everybody involved. And I'm okay with you bitch ass hoes lying to me. But not lying on me. No, she had left Ivy's show and she was mad at Ivy. She went over there and started her own morning show. That's the same panel I got into it with that girl on. And she told me the girl was her wody and her woe and her this and her that. And I left all them bitches alone. Because one thing about me, I ain't got no shortage of friends, hoes like me. Yeah. That's what I'm telling them. That's not true. She was on her own morning show. And if you go on her page, the other day, I looked the other day when she was up. That's oh, she back. I looked. She got a, a thing promoting the morning show. Is that the real Detroit thought? I'm about to say, throw me a bean. I always throw your ass beans. You don't never give me back. I ain't giving you no more Detroit thoughts. I'm, it, we breaking up. <laughs> I know one thing. He be in Burger King tossing up them people food. I swear shit one night I was hollering. <laughs> Thank you, Red. Mm -mm. You're welcome. Mm -mm. I just know that we're too old for certain types of bullshit. Yeah, Detroit thought got me to the point where I'd look at Burger King different. <laughs> or even lie. Even though I don't eat it, but I like, damn. Mm-mm. I just know, like I said, a lot of people, y'all got a lot of belief in people who are showing themselves not to be thorough. And I don't dislike you, China 504. But I ain't ever fucking with you because I see through you. I don't just see you. I see through you. And I've been sort of bullshit you did. And when I kept saying, Ashley's attacking because of China. I knew what it was. That's why when she said it on that panel, it wasn't surprising. Me and... Me and Ashley, and we don't fuck the same people. Like, why would me and her have a beef? We don't borrow and lend money. Like, why would we have a beef? And I felt like she was gunning for me. Oh, Miss Tammy, you want the clout. You want the clout. I'm going to give you the clout. I'm like, clout? I don't want clout, bitch. I want checks. You got me fucked up. Mm-mm. See, all that street gangster shit that people be into running their mouth, I don't know nothing about them. All I know, I know some of the girls in the MBM, and um, I used to, Player Kane used to gift me when he was on the app before. Me and him used to gift back and forth. I think he's a sweet guy. But I don't know anything about those people. I don't know anything about them. Nor do I want to be co-defendants with them answering for some charges. I don't want to be involved in all that shit at this fucking age. And China don't either. She ain't about that life. None of them are about that life. Leave that shit alone and let men do what they do. You bitches up in men business. If you ain't talking peace to black men, y'all shouldn't be in it. Y'all instigating and cash shapping and doing a whole bunch of unnecessary shit. 
These people going to tell on you. These people ain't your fucking family. They going to tell. They going to tell on you. If a woman is between beef with men, if you are not talking peace, you shouldn't be in it. Child, they don't even got to wait the mad day. They don't, they don't even get a mad day no more. Mm-mm. I just know, like I said, y'all don't have to like Ashley, but Ashley has her influence, and she is China Red. And China Red was used. And I hope she can get herself through it. Because me and her should have never had that interaction. Her and Diamond should have never had that interaction. What she should have told China is, bitch, you worried about this. You need to go. Have you done your, have you, whatever, whatever you need to do for yourself physically. Oh, it's going to come out. Mm-hmm. I don't care what they do. Just leave me out of it. And yesterday when China 504 brought my name up on Keith's panel, bitch, what the fuck you bringing my name up for? And you done lied on me and all of that shit? Get the fuck out my face playing with me. Don't play with me. Mm-hmm. I don't mention certain names over here because those situations are dead to me. One thing about me, when a bitch gets no airtime with me, you get no airtime with me. Do I think it's another storyline? Uh, not at this point. Not Storylines with China Red can't go on for hours. She doesn't have the attention span for it to go on that long. She was talking shit since the crack of dawn. Mm -mm, Skittles, I won't bother. Nice to me, Period.